just got done filming your video, you're all excited, you're ready to get into Vinci Resolve, start doing some editing, and once you drop it in your timeline, you listen to the audio and you hear something that sounds a little like this. And then you're like, ah oh, man, I forgot to turn off the heater in the background. So today we're gonna to be talking about the noise reduction effect here in DaVinci Resolve that'll hopefully take care of some of that background noise that you might have caught in your clip. Sometimes you can't help it, you get the background noise and the best thing we can do is try and take care of it here in DaVinci Resolve. So today we're gonna to cover the noise reduction tool, the features, how it works, and uh, hopefully it's gonna help you on removing noise in the background of your clips. So let's jump into DaVinci Resolve and check it out. So here we are in DaVinci Resolve and we are going to apply the noise reduction effect here on the clip. You just saw the clip that we're going to use for our example here. So let's get right into it here. How do we add the noise reduction effect onto our track here in DaVinci Resolve? So I'm in the Fairlight tab. If you don't know how to get there, click on the little musical icon at the bottom here. And that brings you into the Fairlight tab. You want to make sure you've got your mixer open, which is right up here. Click on that and that'll open your mixer. Next, you want to come down to the track that we are uh, currently working with. And in this case, I only have one track and that is Audio 1. And this is where we're gonna add the noise reduction effect. And since it is an effect, you wanna come up here to the section that says effects. And if for some reason you don't see this, use your mouse wheel to try and scroll up and down in this area here. And if you still can't see it, come and click on these three little dots and you should see uh, right over here, effects. Click on that, make sure it's checked on. Maybe you need to turn some of the other things off, but make sure that effects is turned on. You should be able to see this right here in our mixer. Now this tool is available in previous versions of DaVinci Resolve. This is not just a DaVinci Resolve 17 thing. So keep that in mind if you've got 16 or I think even 15, uh, it's still in there too. So this should work the same regardless of what version of DaVinci Resolve you have. So go ahead and click on the plus here. We wanna come down to noise reduction, fair light. And we've already looked at the dehummer and the de-esser here. So now we wanna to go to noise reduction. So now when the window comes up, there is some default settings in there. And quickly, before we get started here, we're gonna just run over the interface of the window and uh, explain that all to you. And then we'll get into using the tool here itself. So up at the top, as always, you've got uh, the ability to add presets. If you click on the little drop down here, you do have some presets as far as de-rumble, de-hiss, de-rumble and de-hiss. And uh, I created this one, reset the noise profile, and then one for my lav mic. And if you go ahead and click on any one of these, you can see it changes uh, what kind of noise reduction is being applied. And you can try those out if you want to get started. That's uh, no problem. You can start with that. Generally, I don't. I think it's a little uh, too much most of the time, but uh, you have those options there. You can also use the A and the B to create two different settings, just like in uh, most of the other effects so far. Again, reset your effect here. And then up here, you've got the lock your plugin window and preset manager. Moving down, you've got your on off button, just like all of our other effects. You can listen to the noise only if you'd like to, just to kind of see what it's sounding like as far as the effect and what it's affecting. On the left here, you have your input meter. Here we have a graph showing us what is being affected, what frequencies are being affected by the noise reduction. And then we have an output meter here. And sometimes when you apply your noise reduction, you're gonna lose a little bit of a gain or a little bit of your signal uh, levels here. So you can always boost that up at the end if you need to. Moving down here, you've got two options for how to use this tool. You've got auto speech mode, in which case you would just check it on and then play through your clip and see how it sounds or manual. And I'll show you how to use both of these. For manual, you have to actually have the noise reduction learn uh, what the noise is and then it'll apply that across the whole track. And that's what this learn button is right here. We'll get into that shortly here. Moving down to the next section here, we have different settings that you can use to affect the noise reduction and how it applies to your clip or your track in this case. So the threshold here relates to the signal to noise ratio. And if you have a poor signal to noise ratio here on your clip, you're gonna have to boost this up just so that uh, the tool works better and can actually detect the noise. Now, if the noise to signal ratio is okay, you might just be able to leave it at the default. I would recommend just leave these things all at the default just to get started, and then you can adjust them and modify them uh, as you start to listen to your clip and see how it affects your specific clip. So next up, we have the attack here, and the attack is primarily going to be good for the auto speech mode. And what attack does is tells the effect, should it react quickly to any noise that it hears, or should it react a little bit slower to any noise that it hears? Um, so if there's a lot of variation in your background noise, you might want this to be uh, pretty low, so that way it can change with the background noise changes quickly. But if it's one consistent noise, like in my clip here, it's... Uh, a heater that's pretty much the same 
sound uh, through the entire clip, you know, I can boost this up a little bit. Maybe I don't need it to change as quick. So that's what the attack is going to do for you here. So the sensitivity is going to tell the plugin, okay, how sensitive do you want the noise reduction to be when it comes to your noise that you have in the background or whatever it is that you're trying to reduce. So the more you boost this up, the more sensitive the noise reduction tool is going to be to it. Again, I'd leave it at the default, see how it does. And if it's not working, it doesn't uh, sound like it's doing the job good or it's missing some of that background noise you're trying to remove. I would boost that up a little bit and see how that does. And as always, you can always just double click any one of these uh, wheels here to reset the settings to the default settings. The next tool we have here is ratio and ratio controls the attack time of the signal relative to the attack time of the noise profile. So a faster ratio is going to preserve those transients in the dialogue of your track, but the results might make it a little less accurate as far as the noise reduction is concerned. So you may just have to play with that a little. Again, I'd leave it at the default and see how it does. And a lot of these things, you're going to have to listen to your clip a few times adjust, make some adjustments, or you can even use the AB tool up here to make one setting and then a different setting and try it back and forth just to see how these things affect your particular clip. Because I don't think there's a one size fits all for all your different kinds of noise removal that you might want to do with your clips. The next section here we have is frequency smoothing. And what this does is it compensates for any harmonic ringing that you might hear uh, after the noise reduction is applied. So you may need it, you may not. And this is just an on off button here to turn this section on or off. You can try it and see how it affects your clip. Maybe you need it and maybe you don't. Just give it a try and see if it does anything. So the next section here is our output. So first we have our wet dry mix. So what is wet dry mix? Well, when it comes to audio, a dry mix means that you have no effect applied to it. So if I crank this all the way down to zero here, that means there is no noise reduction being applied to this clip. Likewise, if I crank it all the way up and I go to 100% wet, that means 100% of this clip is being applied on my track. Now, most of the time you don't need this up at 100%. We can see the default here is 80%, but let's say you go ahead, you find your uh, noise in your clip, and then it's just, uh, it's a little too much. It sounds like it's muffling up your clip too much. Well, instead of trying to adjust any of these other things, you can just come and adjust your wet dry mix to reduce the amount of the effect that's being applied on our track or any clip. So this tool is really helpful just to kind of help you dial in the sound and make sure it's not overkill uh, on your clip or on your track. So the next section we have here is levels and we have the ability to boost the gain or the levels of our track a little bit because when we apply things like noise reduction, a lot of times our output, if we watch our meters, our output is gonna drop a little bit and we're gonna lose a little bit of the volume or the gain of our track or clips. So here you've got the option, you can boost it up all the way up to plus 18 dB and likewise, if you need to drop it down, you can also do that. But one thing that's nice about these levels is when you boost these levels, it's actually boosting the level before the effect is applied. So you're not boosting the post effect levels, you're boosting it before the wet dry mix takes effect. Because basically if I put the wet dry mix all the way down, regardless of what my settings are here, there's gonna be no noise reduction applied to the clip. So I can boost my levels and the original signal coming into the effect is boosted. And then I can go ahead and apply the effect at you know whatever level seems to work for your clip. Again, I would try out the defaults on all these, see how it works out, and then you can go from there. All right, so that's a quick overview of the window and the different features and tools that you have here to work with. So now let's play through our clip and we're gonna see how the uh, tool works here. So let's slide my window over here out of the way. So I'm gonna play up to say about this point right here on my clip. And the reason for that is you've got me talking and then I have a space where you're gonna be able to hear that background noise of my heater going. So let's play through it once without anything applied to it. And then we're gonna go ahead and start with the auto speech mode right here and see how that affects our clip. So I'm gonna turn off our noise reductions, play through the clip and see what we got. So you just got done filming your video, you're all excited, you're ready to get into Vinci Resolve, start doing some editing. And once you drop it in your timeline, you listen to the audio and you hear something that sounds a little like this. And then you're like, oh man, I forgot to turn off the heater in the background. So today we're gonna to be talking about the noise reduction all right, so there we go. We can hear the heater in the background. If you're having a hard time hearing it, crank up the volume a little bit. You can definitely hear it in headphones, is, which is what I'm using to listen to it. Um, and again, the different kinds of noise you might want to remove are going to be different. I just had a heater here, and that's what I used as an example. So now I'm going to go ahead and turn on auto speech mode, turn on my noise reduction, and I'm just going to come back to the beginning, and I'm just going to play through it. I'm not even going to change anything. As a matter of fact, I'm going to hit the reset button here, make sure everything's reset. Go ahead and hit auto speech mode. 
Let's play through it and just see what we've got here. So you just got done filming your video, you're all excited, you're ready to get into Vinci Resolve, start doing some editing, and once you drop it in your timeline, you listen to the audio and you hear something that sounds a little like this. And then you're like, ah oh, man, I forgot to turn off the heater in the background. So today we're gonna be talking about the noise. So you can see once it got to the part where I was not talking, that noise uh, reduction did a pretty good job. Although for me, I feel like when I use the auto speech mode, a lot of times you get some funky sounds or it just, it makes your, your dialogue or the person talking sound a little weird. So I would come in and maybe make some uh, adjustment, maybe adjust the wet dry mix a little bit, or we can even try the, uh, the attack uh, a little bit. So, you know, I'm going to just highlight a little section here with just the noise and then a little bit of me talking. And now I'm going to loop this by clicking this guy right here. And I'm just going to have this play over and over while I adjust some settings in my effect window here. So to loop it, I'm just going to hit option and forward slash. And once you drop it in your timeline, you listen to the audio and you hear something that sounds a little like this. And once you drop it in your timeline, you listen to the audio and you hear something that sounds a little like this. And once you drop it in your timeline, you listen to the audio and you hear something that sounds a little like this. And once you drop it in your timeline, you listen to the audio and you hear something that sounds a little like this. And once you drop it in your timeline, you listen to the audio and- So I think that's getting pretty good there. Just made some minor adjustments. Again, you can just, you know, start with threshold and work your way across, kind of see what makes sense as far as adjusting some of these things. So I think that works pretty good and uh, it's not so bad for this clip. So that's how you would use the auto speech mode. You know, just turn it on, see how it looks. And then the other thing I would check while it's playing is look at your input levels. And then you got the effect and then check your output levels and see, is it still where you want it to be? You know, in that minus 10 to minus 15 range, maybe peaking just over minus 10 a little bit. And if you find that it's dropping your signal, you can go ahead and boost up your output gain here just a little bit, just to kind of get back some of what you lost by the effect getting applied. So now let's talk a little bit more about the manual mode here. I'm going to go ahead and reset everything again, clicking this guy right here. So in manual mode, you have to have DaVinci Resolve learn what the background noise is. So in order to do this, you actually need a section of your clip that only has the background noise. And I knew that, so I left a little section here where it's just the background noise. I'm not talking. There's nothing else going on, just the heater in the background. So I'm going to highlight that, and I'm going to loop that. Got my loop selected. I'm going to play through that. And in order to have the noise reduction tool learn what that background sound is, make sure you've got manual mode checked. Hit learn. And now just play through your clip. And DaVinci Resolve is going to do the work for you. So I'm going to hit option forward slash. And we're going to loop this clip and let it learn what the background noise is I want to get rid of. And then okay, so it went ahead and learned it. So now uh, let's come over here and... I'm going to loop it again because once you stop playing through your clip, the learn is done and whatever settings Resolve thinks it needs, that's what it used. So now I'm just going to play through this and turn the noise reduction on and off and see if we can hear a difference. So pretty good difference. There's the noise reduction off. And here's the noise reduction on. So now what I want to do is I'm just going to play through the clip here, clear out our selection. I'm going to play through the clip so that we can see how this manual mode is affecting the noise. So let's play with it on first, and then uh, maybe we'll try it again with it off. Let's see what it sounds like. So you just got done filming your video. You're all excited. You're ready to get into Vinci Resolve, start doing some editing. And once you drop it in your timeline, you listen to the audio, and you hear something that sounds a little like this. And then you're like... Oh. So I notice I can hear it a little more back where I'm speaking, but where I'm not speaking, it did a pretty good job. So I probably want to make some adjustments here. Maybe I want to boost up the sensitivity a little bit and uh, just play with some of these settings to try and have it reduce as much of that noise as I can uh, where I'm speaking. I'm going to select this area here. I'm going to loop through it, play it, and uh, just see if I can make some adjustments here that will make it work a little bit better. So you just got done filming your video, you're all excited, you're ready to get into Vinci Resolve, start doing some editing, and once you drop it in your timeline, you listen to the audio, and you hear something that sounds a little like this. So you just got done filming your video, you're all excited, you're ready to get into Vinci Resolve, start doing some editing, and once you drop it in your timeline, you listen to the audio, and you hear something that sounds a little like this. So you just got done filming your video, you're all excited, you're ready to get into Vinci Resolve, start doing some editing, and once you drop it in your timeline, you listen to the audio, and you hear something that sounds a little like this. 
So you just got done filming your video, you're all excited, you're ready to get into Vinci Resolve. Alright, so I think it helps a little bit, I mean, I would play with this a little bit more, but, uh, I won't have you guys sit here forever and listen to it. So, you get the idea. That's what I would do, is kind of go through and make some adjustments, and uh, that should be able to help take care of it for you. So in this case, I think the auto speech mode actually did a really good job, and most of the time, though, I have to say, I think the auto speech mode makes it just sound weird, and I, it just doesn't sound good, so I'll go with the manual mode. Um, but in this case, I think that the auto speech mode actually did a better job of taking care of that heater noise in the background here. So you just got to try it on your particular clip and depends on what that noise is you're trying to remove, see how it works out and maybe one will work better than the other. So just a few more thoughts when it comes to noise reduction here in DaVinci Resolve. I would always try the gate first over the noise reduction tool here because I find that I think it works a little bit better, at least for my uh, situations most of the time. So try the gate first. If you don't know how to use the gate, click up here and I'll link to a video where we talked all about the gate and the dynamics. So you can check that out. But I would try the gate and then I would try the noise reduction. One thing you can keep in mind is that you can use other VST plugins for noise reduction. Because in my opinion, I would say that the one in DaVinci Resolve, it's not great. I mean, if you don't have anything else, it's better than nothing. But I do have some other plugins from companies like AccuSonos, and I think the noise reduction there works a lot better. So keep that in mind, you can use other third-party VST plugins to help remove noise here in DaVinci Resolve. So I hope this noise reduction tutorial was helpful for you guys. If it was, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, hit the little bell so you get notified when I put out a new video. Check out some merch if uh, you're looking for a little gift for Christmas for somebody or something and uh, help support the channel. I would really appreciate that. But I want to thank you guys for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace. Peace.